So we started back in 2009. Uh, we were focused on solving neurosurgeons' problems with these implanted medical devices that had power wires that caused the devices to fail 40% of the time. So we figured out a way to do that wirelessly. But really what New Current's about now is about two years ago we realized that wireless power is going to change the way that people interact with uh, all of their electronic devices from phones to laptops to automobiles and we have turned our attention to the more consumer applications over the past two years because our, our customers like Apple and Samsung and Motorola, they're looking for ways to give the user experience of wireless power and they come to us because we have antennas that allow them to uh, make their devices thinner, charge faster, and do it more efficiently than anyone else can do in the world. So we have the patents protecting that, and we like to bring that to our customers so that they can make good use cases for uh, all the customers in the world that use phones and wearables and tablets. Some of the products that I'm really excited about that we're developing are um, what we call multi-mode antennas. So just as a little background, right now wireless power, there's a standards battle. And if you might think about uh, VHS and Betamax from the 1980s, the, the, some cassette tapes don't work in certain players. And right now you have a transmitter at Starbucks that doesn't work with some phones from LG. So there's these standards mismatches. And what we've created at New Current are antennas that work across all the different standards. So you don't need to worry about as a consumer, where does my phone work? Does my Samsung phone work at Starbucks? Does my Samsung phone work on my IKEA furniture, in my Ford vehicle? The answer if you're using a new current antenna is yes, it works at all those places. My prediction for the future is all these wires that I carry around in my bag and that every time you travel you need your laptop charger, you need your tablet charger, you need your phone charger, and your Fitbit charger, it's going to go away. You just take your devices with you and then you know if you go to the airport you can set your phone down and charge it. No more sitting next to the, uh, the bathroom on the floor trying to charge your phone before you get on the flight. These, thing, these charges will be everywhere as part of the infrastructure, in tables at restaurants, at Starbucks, um, and you're never going to have that battery anxiety anymore when you have the red light comes on. It's no longer a green battery, it's a red one because you're under 10%. That's just not going to be a thing of the future in a few more years, and we're excited to be a small part of that.